How to create a searchable dynamic drop down list in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Tech Tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic drop down list that is searchable. Okay, and before starting, I want you to take a moment and please subscribe to the channel, it means a lot to me. Now, take a look at here in back end, we have a few names here, and in the front end, we want a drop down list here, and I want to make it searchable. So, whenever I search something, the name will come up, I will enter it from the drop down list now we are going to create a dynamic drop down list our drop down list will cover three things first thing it will be searchable then the second part is it will be dynamic that means if i enter a new name here it will be inserted in our drop down list and the third option you will get from this tutorial is you will be able to create multiple drop down that means we can create multiple data validation drop down list here and each of them will be searchable and dynamic <laughs> So go to our backend worksheet and I'm going to insert another column here. That will be our helper column. Let's format our data. Let's create a header. This is our helper and this is our names. Now I'm going to convert this to a table. Okay. Click on insert and click table. Before that, select the entire data range. Click table. My table has header and click OK. So we have converted our data to a table because we want it to be dynamic. So as we have created a table, each time we enter a data here, it will be inserted into our table and our drop down list will automatically update. That that means our second option we wanted to create a dynamic drop down list that is already covered it's complete now we need to create a searchable list okay so this is our name list and this is our helper column and let's say i want to search based on the data in cell f2 okay so let's write the function here first i'm going to use the search function right equal to and then search if i double click here find text i'm going to find text from this cell let's press f4 to make the reference absolute and then press comma and within the text that means i'm going to find it from this cell okay so i'm going to select the first cell of our name and it will be a single cell okay now close parenthesis press enter and you can see the formula has already been applied to the whole table okay that means if i write here something our data is changing that is because our search formula found the alphabet c at the 10th character position in this cell it didn't find here c so it's an error and here we have at the fifth position that's why it has written five so if it finds the character inside our names it will show us a number and if it can't find the data it will give us an error message so we are going to format this a bit i'm going to write here is number because we have either number or error so i'm going to sort it a bit is number and close parenthesis so it will give us true and false result if we have the alphabet inside our list it says true if it doesn't it says false now i'm going to convert this true and false to zero and one how i can do that if i write here if function if this is true it will give us one if this is false it will give us zero close parenthesis press enter so we are getting our result if we don't write here anything you can see each cell has this option if we write here a and you can see our zero and ones are changing now i'm going to create a serial number here that means if our formula founds this character inside this list it shows one but when it will find the second one it should show us two and then three and then four then five so i'm going to create a serial number here and how i can do that i can do that using the max function okay so here we are getting one for true result but i'm going to change that if the result is true i want a serial number so i'm going to get that result using max function which is m a x max and i'm going to write till a1 here and i'm going to fix that with f4 and then colon right cell a1 and don't fix that right now i will explain it okay and now close the max function and then write plus one okay now if i press enter you can see our data has been changing so the first one we have found the result is one the second one is two and the third one is three and the fourth one and you can see this one doesn't match so it's zero and the next one again six so this is how you can create a serial number of the value you find 
from this list okay and here we can see our formula we fixed the first reference but we didn't fix the second reference that's why it's moving as i intended okay so our formula is ready here now i'm going to write here the row function because i want to extract all these matching names into this column okay so write rows remember it's rows function not the row function and then select the array which will be cell h2 fix that colon h2 so i press enter you can see one okay now if i drag this to let's say first hundred row you can see we have a serial number here okay so what we have done we just simply count the row number and placed it inside our cell so this is the row one for us because our starting row is from h2 and it's fixed so our row number is here but how we can extract data from these names to here we can use the vlookup formula here if you write here vlookup so our lookup value is this one and now it's asking for the table array we are going to select our entire table okay and you can see we get our table name here and as we have table name that means each time our data is updated inside the table our formula will be updated too okay now press comma and the column index number will be 2 and i want to find exact match and close parenthesis press enter now if we auto fill that and you can see we are getting value and error message let's check if it's working if i search here d and our data is updating you can see slowly we are getting our result okay if i write here e and you can see our data is updated now i'm going to remove this error message so i'm going to write here if error formula here so if you write if error then comma i'm going to leave it empty close parenthesis and press enter and double click here to autofill and you can see all the error messages has been removed okay and i have entered the data to 100 rows because this is a dynamic range i don't know how much data i need to add here so i'm giving some extra space here that's why up to row 100 okay if you want you can increase it or decrease it as you like if we don't have any data here we'll get the entire list here okay so our searchable list is ready now we need to create this a dynamic range okay how you can do that we can do that if we count how many cell has text here okay for that we are going to use the count if function equal to count if and now the range h2 to h100 now make this absolute by pressing f4 and the criteria will be if it has text inside it and for that you can write here within double quotation if you use here the wildcard which is question mark and then asterisk and if i press enter you can see it's counting so now we can count how many cell inside this data range has text inside it let's change this if i write here c and it's filtering data and our list is extracted here and it has counted six because we have six cells that has text inside it so our first part of the formula is ready now we need to use the offset function and that's how we can create our dynamic name range now insert this within your offset function right offset the reference will be the first cell make that absolute by pressing f4 comma row number press comma again for column comma again the height already our formula placed here and we're going to close parenthesis and press enter it will give us the first name we are not going to use this formula here we just written it here now i'm going to cut it from here and i'm going to create our dynamic name range okay click on formula click on name manager click new and the name will be ty underscore name okay and the range will be this one now you can see if we place the formula our worksheet name has already inserted so we don't need to do anything else but if i click here you can see this range is selected close it and let's write something here a and go to name manager and you can see our dynamic data range is working okay so we have a list here and we have formatted it in a way that will give us a serial number if it matches a text inside cell f2 and if everything goes well we are going to get a serial number here and then we are going to extract 
the names based on those serial number to a different column which is in our case column age then we created a name range from this list now it's time to create a drop down list okay go to our front end and here click on data data validation and drop down list click here and press f3 and you will see our name manager here select the name click ok and here click on error alert and stop this uncheck that and click ok now we have only one thing to do we need to make it searchable okay if i write here something it shouldn't work because this cell isn't connected to this cell in any way the sorting or the name extraction is based on this cell now if we change the cell reference right here equal to and select the cell that has our first drop down and write something here you can see our drop down is searchable if we write here c drop down is searchable so our searchable part is already completed okay this is how we can create a searchable drop down list but the problem is if i create more drop down list based on the same selection the first one will work and our drop down will work but the second one will not work you can see the second drop down list isn't working so we need to change only one thing we are going to use another function and that will solve this problem multiple drop down okay go to backend here cell f2 this is the cell based on which our drop down list is working if i write here one it doesn't do anything if i write here a and you can see our names has been extracted here now if we write here a function write equal to and then write cell if i double click here you can see we have a lot of option but i'm going to select here content okay and the second parameter is optional and i'm not going to write it and if i close parenthesis and press enter click ok now what this function does if i write something anywhere in the worksheet let's say i'm going to write h here in cell d6 this cell isn't included in any of our formula but if i press enter you can see our cell f2 has changed that's the magic of cell function if i write anything anywhere it will take that value inside that cell so if i write here hi and our text has been changed here okay now let's check the magic here in cell a2 our drop down is ready you can see we have created the drop down list now if i write here c and click on the drop down and you can see i am getting the filtered result here okay i'm going to select this one now in the second drop down if i write w if i click on the drop down there is no match so there is no data and we didn't get any value but if i write here g and we have our searchable drop down working okay so each of these drop downs is now working search something click on the drop down only that filter data will be displayed now let's check if we enter a data here is it going to update there so we didn't have anything on w and let's see if we can find that inside our drop down list so i'm going to write w i n in the drop down we have our new name okay so this is how you can create a searchable dynamic drop down list that you can use on multiple cells so this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and if you need this formula you can find it in the description below just copy it from there and change the cell reference according to your worksheet okay thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe it means a lot to me thank you thanks for watching